Innovation, practicality, and cute were the hallmarks of the HKTDC Hong Kong Toys and Games Fair 2017. The 43rd edition of Asia's biggest event of its kind featured more than 2,100 exhibitors from 42 countries and regions, including newcomers from Bangladesh, Bulgaria, and Denmark. Also here for the first time is Kawada of Japan, whose nano blocks are the original micro-sized building blocks. You can create uh, smaller and more detailed products, and more realistic, because if the blocks are bigger, what you can make is very limited, but if the blocks are smaller, you can make uh, more detailed animals, instruments, etc. Our main purpose of attending this exhibition is to spread the brand image of NanoBlock to Hong Kong market and also international market. The NanoBlock is featured at the signature Brand Name Gallery with 220 exhibitors from 15 countries or regions. A superior brand connotes reliability and supreme quality. The gallery captures the attention of quality suppliers and buyers alike and boasts a wide range of creations of the brightest minds in the industry. Toy expert Chris Byrne conducted a seminar on the trend toward STEM toys. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, and it's become a big trend in the toy industry. It's a really new way of talking about educational learning and really uh, the basics of learning for preparing kids for academic success later. I definitely think the next big wave is taking STEM from being a marketing gimmick or a marketing moniker into something that's really integrated into the toys. And we're seeing a lot of that with science toys that really engage kids and they're fun technology as well, engineering, and math not so much, but math is definitely all about thinking and sets and all kinds of different components of math that isn't necessarily one, two, three in addition and subtraction. I think the thing that makes the Hong Kong show different is the level of representation here from countries around the world, the level of innovation that happens. This is very often the first place you'll see things that will trickle out into the toy industry over the next couple of years. So it's important to be here and sort of be out on the next wave as it emerges. Soap Studio and a collaboration with renowned artist B-Wing features an all-new Series A family. B-Wing, she got a lot of uh, female fans. So I have a crazy idea two years ago. And why don't we uh, create our own superhero that is more captured to female or mutual people? So that's why we came up this uh, project and I want to uh, link up with B-Wing and uh, DC Comics to uh, recreate our own Batman, Superman, Harley Quinn, or the Just the League superhero. The superhero market they capture is the uh, male is around uh, 95 to 98 percent to the male market. So we cross over with B-Wing, we can capture more female market. In the Smart Tech Toy Zone, Kids Logic provides a spectrum of collectibles. It looks like the real fighter of F-14. We try to follow the details of a real aeroplane. And then the speaker, I can show you down there. When they get it home, it's not just a statue. Yep, it can play music as well. As an adult collectible brand, we think it is a mature time to, to try this market. Uh, we usually go to collectible events. But nowadays, we want to expand our brand to more like a entertainment products. So we think these events really suit uh, what we want. Running simultaneously with the Toys and Games Fair was the HKTDC Hong Kong Baby Products Fair, with more than 540 exhibitors from 27 countries and regions. The fair featured innovative new products to make a baby's life safer, easier, and more fun. This rocket-shaped feeding spoon is designed in a way that parents can feed their babies in a more relaxed way. And this milk temperature monitor takes the temperature of milk or water inside the bottle as soon as it's put on the mat. Tens of thousands of buyers checked out the Baby Products Fair for their next top-selling items.